Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to remove header in Shopify. For example, I'm on my Shopify store right now and you can see the header section right here. I'll be showing you how to remove it. And if you don't want to remove it and instead you would like to change the size by minimizing it as you can see that I've done. I've done a video previously on how to do that and I'll be leaving the link in the description or in the comment section. But to remove the header section overall, all you'll need to do is go on the admin page on your store. Then you are going to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap on online store. Once you have tapped on online store, you will be redirected to the themes page. Once on the themes page, you are going to scroll down and you are going to tap on customize. After tapping on customize, you will be redirected to the editor page. Once on the editor page, again, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option. And right beside header, you are going to see a high icon right here. All you'll need to do is simply tap on it. Once you have tapped on it, as you can see right there, the header section is no longer there. All you'll see now is the announcement bar. And if you'd also like to hide the announcement bar, you can do that. All you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option once more, right where you see announcement bar, as you can see right here, you are going to tap right there. And then you'll simply tap on save in the top right hand corner. And if I were to go back onto the demo page right here and refresh this page, you will realize that there is no longer a header section as you can see right there as it has been completely removed. But if you would like to leave the header section again, you will simply go back into editor. You can leave the announcement bar if you want by simply tapping right there. Then you could simply tap on save. So the announcement bar will still be visible. Or if you would like to get back the header section, you could simply tap right there and you would be able to get back the header section. Some other editing options that you could do for the header section is simply tap on the header right there. Then for example, you could change the positioning of the logo. So if you would like the logo to be top left or top center, you can do that. You can also scroll down and from here you can change it from a drop down menu as it currently is. So let's say, for example, you would like the menu to be at the side, so you could tap on draw. And you can see right here, three dashes. So if someone should tap on the three dashes, they'll now access the menu option. So you can do that if you want. You can also select whether you would like the header to be a sticky header, or if you would like it to be a scroll up. So for example, on scroll up, so you can see it right here. So while the person scrolls up, they will see the header as you can see right there. Or if you were to select always, meaning that you want the header section to always be visible as you can see right there, it will always be visible. So you have different editing options that you can choose from. You can also choose if you'd like to remove the black line by simply tapping on show separator line. You could remove that by unticking the box right here. Or if you would like to change the color, you can do that by tapping right where you see scheme one. You can change the background color by tapping right here. But keep in mind that by changing the background color, it will also change other color aspects on your theme as you can see right there. You can also change the text color by simply tapping on the text box right here. So let's say I would like to change the color to red. If I were to tap on red, you can see that the color has changed right there. Once you have done all of the changes that you would like or all of the editing that you would like to do to the header section, you can scroll down. You can also add a language selector if you want. And you can also edit the mobile layout for the mobile logo positioning better yet. So whether you'd like the logo to be positioned in the center or on the left hand on a mobile, you can do that. After making your changes, you'll tap on save in the top right hand corner. And by the way, if you would like to reduce the size of the header instead of removing it overall, all you'll need to do is tap on exit. Then you're going to stay on the same theme page. Once on the theme page, you're going to scroll down. You're going to tap on the three dots right beside customize. 
and you are going to select edit code after selecting edit code you will be redirected to this page and i want you to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to scroll down until you see assets you are going to tap on assets after selecting assets you are going to scroll down a bit and you are going to select base.css if you don't see base.css you probably see theme.css you are going to select it after selecting it you are going to scroll all the way down to the bottom then from there what i want you to do is create a blank line so for example if you see a bracket all you'll need to do is tap and put your cursor right in front of the bracket then tap on enter after you have created the blank line you are going to simply copy and paste this code as you can see right here you are going to copy and paste the code as i have done so for example you can see the code right here after you have pasted the code if you would like to change the size from 15 px so let's say I would like it to be 30 px. I could simply type that in right there, then tap on save. Once the changes have been saved, if I were to go back to the demo page right here and refresh the page, you can see that the header section size has changed. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching.